In this video, I explain everything you need to know to be able to install and work with the microscope. In order to see as much of your specimen as possible, it is important that you adjust the microscope as good as possible. First, you need to remove the protection caps and turn the microscope light on. In the starting position, the stage must be set as high as possible. You do the same for the condenser. Then close the diaphragm completely with the little switch at the side. Adjust the height of the condenser so that there is only a few millimeters between the specimen and the top of the condenser. When you see through the microscope you normally see a polygon, in this case a hexagon. But the edges of the hexagon may be blurry. Turn the condenser down until the edge of the hexagonal image is sharp. If the hexagonal image is not nicely in the middle of your field of view, like in this case, you can move the image with the two screws under the stage. You only need to perform this step once per session. Once the image is properly centered, it will no longer shift when changing the lens. The image now has sharp edges and is neatly in the middle of your field of view. Now open the diaphragm further until the edges are just outside your field of view. And what you see now is a typical white circle, but the microscope is set correctly. You can adjust the light intensity using the light button at the bottom of the microscope. You may need to adjust the ocular lens to compensate for any differences between your eyes. For the purpose of this video I prepared an onion specimen. I did this by taking a thin layer of the onion and placing it on a microscope plate. After adding a drop of water, I place a cover glass on top. This is known as a wet mount and is commonly used to prepare specimens. You can avoid air bubbles by just letting the cover glass fall on top. Clamp the specimen between the stage clip and the metal borders. Make sure to not clamp it under the clip. Next, turn the stage all the way up. Start at the smallest magnification to get an overview of your specimen. Make sure that the objective lens does not hit the specimen. This is normally not possible if you start with the lowest magnification. Turn the stage down with the course adjustment until the specimen comes into view. It does not have to be completely sharp yet. Focus the image with the fine adjustment. Once the image is in focus for one magnification, it will remain visible for other magnifications as well. When changing the lens, you only have to turn the fine adjustment a little more to sharpen the image. You definitely shouldn't turn the course adjustment anymore. To search your specimen, you can use these knobs to change the XY position. Thanks for watching and see you next time.